Welcome to Dear Sandy. I'm Sandy Galef, a member of the New York State Assembly, representing parts of Northern Westchester and parts of Putnam County. And today, our our show is about there's a new mayor in town, and uh, that mayor is really not in town, but in the city. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new mayor, Andre Rainey from Peekskill. So New York. I just thought um, I haven't I not had a chance to have a new mayor on my show for a while because good. there haven't been a lot of new mayors so good, good. Um, <laughs> but it's it's really great to have you here Andre you had um, so here you come as a new mayor but you've been on the Peace Hill Council for yes. a couple of years yes I have. was mm. that helpful from going from the council to the mayor's role it or is it quite different extremely helpful it, it, it prepared me for the the major role you know it's like uh, you know you have practice for an actual game and that's how mm -hmm. I looked at it you know I was getting a lot of practice and doing a lot of the drills and understanding now I'm, now I'm playing the game you know mm -hmm. so now I understand it but that 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 two years of experience actually helped out a lot right you know right. so and I appreciate it too yeah so people <coughs> do people um, treat somebody who's on the city council differently than a mayor I mean as far as your contacts with other people do they always oh, go yes. to the mayor they without always go to the mayor without a doubt yes. I mean in, in city what, what I try to do now is I, I tell people I reach out to me and I you know I make sure I include my my council and everything mm -hmm. but um, mm -hmm. you know just just funny I, I tell the story all the time you know people come up to me now you know as a council person some events I would get invited to some things I would get you know asked to speak at if the mayor mm -hmm. couldn't speak they would ask mm -hmm. me to speak but for the most part now people will come up to me and say hey you know what uh, Mayor Rainey can you please come to this 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 function and speak mm -hmm. and I'll say yeah sure and they'll say okay great it's the eighth annual such and such and I'm, I'll say well, where was the first seven yeah, <laughs> right I didn't get anybody to those but you know what I, uh -huh. I appreciate it though you know so there's a little bit of a difference but you still get the same the same concerns and issues and the same congratulations you know as a council right. person would so. well I went to um, your swearing in in fact there were so many people yes. at Peace Hill City Hall that yeah. I was down you were upstairs and I was downstairs, oh, you were downstairs? I was oh, downstairs oh, no <laughs> well it was just so crowded I and I seen you, though, there so. was a <clears throat> separate room downstairs yes which is where you sometimes have some of your other other meetings. Meet and whole meetings yeah. I have to tell you very comfortable chairs. <laughs> <laughs> and we watched you on the screen and uh, but I was just so amazed how many people were there. I yeah. mean there people were so engaged in their mm -hmm. government right, and right. Um, it's the, it's the momentum too and you know the the, the council you know uh, Kathy and um, Vivian I, I ran with them when I ran for council. And the council that's on there now, I ran with them this time around. So it's a very, very diverse, community active council. You know, it's, these these aren't. Uh, I don't look at these individuals as just people that decided to run and help the community. These are people that have been active in the community mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. So when people saw all of us together, it was like if you ever watch Transformers, you see a bunch of Transformers get together. There's a powerful mm -hmm. team up there mm -hmm. now. People are excited about it. You know, mm -hmm. so it was it was it was great. It was a great moment. It was. It was. Know? It was really really yeah. nice. And yes. being the, the youngest mayor of Peace Guild made me feel really good too. You know, it's are a, you? I mean, I know that they've said that that you are the youngest. Uh, Proof, proof is there in history? Proof is there, yes. Okay. 30, I was 33 when I won, I'm 34 now, but so far, uh -huh. yes, the youngest right, one. Right, right. Yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. So, <coughs> as you, as we're entering this first first year of mm -hmm. your term, and I, I, the term is really only two years, so only it goes years, yeah. pretty quickly. When you were a council person, it was a four-year term. Yes. Right, yes. so yep. it, it's different. So, how do you figure out what you're going to do in the first year? Is, is there a lot of goal setting yeah, with the a, council? A lot of goal setting. You know, the, the, I think the, the greatest thing about this, uh, being that I was already on the council, I kind of knew who the key players were in City Hall. Mm -hmm. So, um, we formed a transition team. We got the idea from uh, George Latimer. We, cre we created a transition team to kind of, rather than just going in there with my ideas, because, you know, we mm -hmm. always focus on working to keep taxes low, quality mm -hmm. of life, working sure, making sure that the services that we offer to the community is, you know, beneficial and very effective. But we always focused on doing better things for the youth. You know, that was my mm -hmm. primary focus mm -hmm. when I ran as a council person. Um, working in City Hall, you get to actually see what the, the in-depth, you know, vision or, mm -hmm. or concerns and issues really are. Mm -hmm. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, when you go into each department, they tell you 
what's going good and what mm -hmm, can mm -hmm. be better, you know, mm -hmm, or what's mm -hmm. a challenge right now at the time. Mm -hmm, and that's kind of mm -hmm. where we channel our energy now, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, DPW is one of our greatest um, um, departments, I feel, because they put so much work in on call. You know, mm -hmm. sort of like our first responders, you know, if there's a water main break, two in the morning, 20 degrees outside, yeah. they're outside, you know. People so. don't, you have to, people should all think about this. Whenever there's a snowstorm or there's a <laughs> water break or when there's a fire right. and you're sitting home and you're comfortable <laughs> or you're sleeping, you have to really think about all the people, the municipal workers mm -hmm. that are out there and the, and the volunteer firefighters yeah, and so yeah, on. Yeah helping out and it, it is amazing it yeah. is amazing you're 100 percent right i mean the first week in office the first the day of the inauguration mm -hmm. i had to go to my mother's house to take a shower because mm -hmm. there's a water main break god i believe it was new year's eve sometime in the evening was oh a water it was main break. so frozen during yes. that period of time right? yes oh my goodness so i you know i was getting emails like you know congratulations we're so happy with the mayor this is a great thing but i have no water you know, uh, so right. it's like, ah, uh, okay, let me go do my inauguration speech, uh -huh. and I'll text, you know, make sure I get it taken care of for, for you right now, you know, so, um, but, it, you know, it's, they do so much work within City Hall, and, um, you know, the vision that the people in our departments have, um, haven't been fully recognized, and it's because, you know, they're, they're professionals at what they do, but because of the changing transitions of different, um, you know, mayors and, mm -hmm. and, and councils, mm -hmm. For them to put out a platform or for them to put out an actual idea or a vision of where they see the city going in their department, mm -hmm. such as the planning department, it's hard because they never know when they're going to change. You know, that is the very, priorities that is, change. That yeah. is very hard. You're right. right. You're so right. What, what we're trying to do now is like with the planning, you know, we're trying to create somewhat of a foundation, uh, almost like a master plan of how we see the city going, but mm -hmm. a foundation mm -hmm. strong enough to support vision of anybody that comes in mm -hmm. you know rather mm -hmm. than just you know what I'm a Democrat and this is what mm -hmm. I want to see and mm -hmm. a Republican mm -hmm. this, let's try to create like a balance to mm -hmm. where we mm -hmm. focus on on housing for example but we also mm -hmm. focus mm -hmm. on getting more development you know mm -hmm. focus mm -hmm. on the education but also focus on a youth center you know being mm -hmm. revitalized or you know we try to like balance it out now and right now we're working together to create that foundation so in two mm -hmm. or four years six or eight or ten years mm -hmm. when I decide to step down the next person can come in and say you know what he left a great you know, he left mm -hmm. a great floor for me to take take over. Is now. part of that, Andre, um, uh, educating the public about what you're trying to do, without also? A doubt. Yeah, without a doubt. And, every, and sometimes I, I don't know that we do that as well as we should. You know, everybody plays a role. You know, and um, I'm glad you asked that question. You know, looking at the housing authority, you know, for example, um, in, in low income housing areas, they have the challenge of of not getting what they need for the building, for example. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, you get a lot of concerns from the residents, you know, and, and the tenants that are there, and. Um, it's, it's important to educate them on how important, for example, you know, having your rent on time mm -hmm, can affect mm -hmm. the actual building's appearance, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, and it's like mm -hmm. sometimes they don't, they don't, they're not educated to they're know They're not that. connecting those right. dots. Right, yeah, but nobody's telling them that either, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. when we come home from a long day of work and we're just tired and we, you know, we, we have issues within the building, the building floor mm -hmm, isn't, you know, mm -hmm. up to par or the doors aren't up to standard, you know, we're not being told exactly why. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, mm -hmm. the people who are in charge sometimes don't inform us. They just, you know what, if mm -hmm. you guys don't care, I don't care. And it's not that we don't mm -hmm. care, we just don't necessarily know, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And the idea on the other side is like as new development comes in, I want those people in low-income housing to look at new developments as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I think right now we look at it as a threat mm -hmm. to our mm -hmm. existence mm -hmm. here in Peekskill. You know, mm -hmm. it's like if this is coming in, how much time do I have here? Mm -hmm. You know, so we have to I'm, we have to educate them on looking. When these projects come in, you live here. Mm -hmm. We're mm -hmm. going to protect you. We want you to stay here. Mm -hmm. But educate mm -hmm. yourself so you could be there. Right. You know, you, right. you want to get to that point right. soon enough. And there you can know? be some <coughs> jobs, construction. With jobs, with construction, new. everything. Yeah, employment. And that, that part also falls on the actual government of the city, too. Mm -hmm. What are we asking from these developers when they come in? You know, mm -hmm. what are we saying? Look, we love your project. We love your multi-million dollar project and we think it's, it's going to benefit our community but while you're coming here it's going to benefit you in the long run what can you give to our community mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. we have a parks and rec that needs a little bit of assistance right. you know right. we have a school board that can use a little bit more improvement mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so that's what we have people that need jobs mm -hmm. you know so what so are you, you can ask for certain things with ask. the approval and right. and try to get some money right. um, which many communities have done for, right, for right. recreation knowing that when a new building's going in and there are going to be children there mm -hmm, or adults mm -hmm. and they need 
a, a place to have more recreation. Exactly. And they need right. more open space mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so on, which is really good. Right, so that's what we focus on. So what about, um, I mean, I always think of Peace Hill and I always think of the arts. Yes. <laughs> and My favorite uh, word this year. Is it your favorite <laughs> My word? My favorite word. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next why to is, food. Uh, why is it your favorite? Well, because we'll ask about both of those. What about right, right. the arts? <laughs> okay. You know, I, I'm an artist myself. You know, I've always been involved in music. Um, I remember in 2010, I started this show called the Artist Appreciation Show. And I, uh, I hosted it uh, the second Sunday of every month for four years at the Bean Runner Cafe. Mm -hmm. And it was a show just showing our appreciation to different art forms. I felt mm -hmm. a lot of places don't, you know, especially in, in the tri-state area, I go to places to, you know, open mic shows and everything. I felt right. like some people take, they don't really appreciate the artists as much as they, they deserve sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I created a show right here called the Artist Appreciation Show. And I'd have cello players, tap dancers, mm -hmm. singers, mm -hmm. um, visual artists, photographers, you know, authors. like any form of culinary arts, you know, people would come in with special dishes. You know, my cousin owns a restaurant, uh, Paul Smythe's Twisted Chicken and Waffles, and he has like a peanut. What is the name of this restaurant? Paul Smythe's Twisted Chicken, chicken. and Waffles. Okay. And he has like this pina colada chicken and waffle dish. Uh -huh. If you right. like pina coladas, you're gonna uh -huh. fall in love with this chicken and waffle dish. <laughs> Tastes just <laughs> like it, it's delicious, you know. Uh -huh. But um, I felt that we needed to show artists that we appreciate them. So we would come to this show the second Sunday of every month, and I just get everybody in the community that I know to come watch these artists come because these are great artists. Mm -hmm. And to see where Peace Scale is at now with recognizing arts, it's just mm -hmm. it's so a dream. So did some of those artists, were, were most of them from the Peace Scale area, or did you try to what draw I, some of them to, all to over, be here from all, all over. over? Yeah, yeah, all right. over. I would always, like, um, what I would try to do is get three to four artists to show, mm -hmm. and the opening artists would be from Peace Scale. Mm -hmm. Normally, you know, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the times we would go to the high school for the mm -hmm. opening artists, but um, for the most part, they would be some would be from Peace Scale, but I would go from all over, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. over, just come to Peace Scale and perform. And right. it's, it's a great pitch, yeah. too. I'll tell you that when you go to different places, listen, come to perform in, in, in Peace Scale. Oh, mm -hmm. where's that? <laughs> you know, yeah. I've never right. even heard of it. I'm definitely coming. I want to get a different fan base, you know, so it always worked out, right. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming a number of those maybe got pulled in for some of the street events and yes, so on yeah. um, that were happening beyond the, beyond the restaurants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, right. I, get, I get a lot of that from people when I go to different, I, I'm visiting everywhere now, every mm -hmm. city and town and village you can think of now with different mayors getting their ideas and what's working for them. And, um, you know, people really appreciate Peace Kill for all the festivals, you know, the festivals mm -hmm. we have here from mm -hmm. the, you know, the um, St. Patrick's Day Parade, mm -hmm. Fourth of July mm -hmm. Parade, Juneteenth Parade, and you know the Peace Scale Exposition. Mm -hmm. People really appreciate that the the events and things that we host here. So mm -hmm. it brings a lot more attention. New Year's New Year's Eve ball drop and all right, that. You know, right. so that was a really cold one this year. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll count down like ten. That was right Nine. before you were sworn in. I yes, guess. or yes, you were yes. sworn. Maybe you were sworn in. Yeah. That matter of fact, once the ball dropped, I was the mayor. Right. Right. <laughs> so, right. But yeah, you know, so we I, we we try to keep those type of activities here. Right, you know? so the artist, as you mentioned that you were reaching out to other communities. Do you feel mm -hmm. that that's, that is a really important part of what you're doing? Very. Um, I have, in my State of the City address, I, um, I mentioned, I go more, more, more in depth of what I'm gonna say now, but um, for many years, uh, we compared Peace Scale to what Peace Scale was, you know, five, six years ago. Mm -hmm. and. Um, to me, comparing it now to what it was at its worst is always going to look good. Mm -hmm. You know, when I go to other cities, you know, I lived in Vegas for, for, for 11 years. Mm -hmm. When I go in other cities and I see what they have to offer, right. I want to say, I want to be able to compare Peak Skill to this mm -hmm. one day. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to be able to say, this is cool in Miami or this is cool in Orlando mm -hmm. or Las Vegas. This is cool in Manhattan. Right. This, I can do that in Peak Skill. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. why can't why can't we have this type of infrastructure or this type of, you know, commercial building or something in Peace Scale compared to Peace Scale six years ago when we were going through a recession? Mm -hmm. You know, I want to I want to be able to compare Peace Scale. So when I go to other cities, I look at their programs, you know, and I go to Greenberg, their youth mm -hmm. center. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Right. And right. people from all over go to they I mean, NAACP, uh -huh. governors, senators, like people from all over hold events at that youth center. Mm -hmm. Why mm -hmm. can't they do that in Peace Skills Youth Center? We right. have one, right. you know. So now it's like right. I want my youth center to be like theirs, but uh -huh. better. 
Right. You know, I right. want my main street to be like theirs, but better. I want my uh -huh. low income housing like theirs. I want my luxury hotels like right. theirs, but better. Mm -hmm. So I go to these other mm -hmm. cities and I speak to these mayors and I see what, what they do that works for them. And I say, you know what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to do what you're doing. Thank you. But I want to do it better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's so important because when you think about just the location of Peekskill, it is northern Westchester. It's, right. it's the go. border. <laughs> and I just, you know, having lived in Austin for a long time, people don't know where Austin is, yeah, you know, yeah. because it, everything is right? so centered yeah. down toward White Plains and, and Yonkers, um, you know, mm -hmm. in that area. So you really have to to reach when you're when you're this far north you yeah. really have to reach out <laughs> don't say that now we're people. not that far you know it's no funny. you're not you're not no, no, no. when we used to, i used to perform down in cities like you know go to places like brooklyn and perform when i was doing like spoken mm -hmm. word and poetry and i'd say i'm from Peekskill, and people would be like oh i heard of Peekskill. that's 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 up there by by poughkeepsie right not necessarily yeah, not right. as far the funniest when they say is that near canada it's like, listen, okay, <laughs> it's 45 minutes away if you can take the Metro North. Calm down. You know, so, but I love, I love telling people that I'm from Peekskill. Right, right. You know, right. I love it. Yeah, and great rail service yes. uh, from yeah. Peekskill. Mm -hmm. Let, let's talk about the waterfront. I mean, I mean, it is, it is beautiful. I yes. know when I first started to represent Peekskill, I realized, because I was invited to so many things that were on the Hudson on the River. River. Yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> at the park. It was like all the time in the summer and your concerts and, mm -hmm. and everything. Um, there's such a, you know, along the Hudson River, you have so many different vistas. But in Peekskill, it is so wide. Mm -hmm. The river is so wide yes, yes. that it just, it, it really opens up. It, it just feels like a different place. Right, right. Somehow. And it's, you know what, it's it's one of the riverfronts. I mean, I, I think all of the previous mayors that put, put the work into protecting our mm -hmm. riverfront, you know, from Sandy Galef, all the way, you know, all of the mayors who had a vision for what this riverfront could be. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I take my son down there all the time. You know, we go down there and play. He plays in the playground area. You know, we've, we've done numerous of events down at the gazebo down there, from, mm -hmm. from family events to birthday parties to right. fish fries, like, you know. But to see where it's at now, it just makes Peekskill so unique, mm -hmm. you know. And I think the fact that we're even expanding it now, as I was, you know, mentioning mm -hmm. earlier. So it just, it just, it differentiates Peekskill from other river towns. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we protected it without putting too much, um, too much, you know, it's not too too much going on down there. Right, it's a plain right. open space. It's wonderful for people just to bring down yes, a blanket you know. or a chair. And yeah, just, just enjoy sit it. Sit you know? and enjoy the, yeah. the water and the parks and recreation actually held a movie night uh, on, the, on the screen on the green mm -hmm, this past mm -hmm. uh, fall, right outside. You know, mm -hmm, so it's mm -hmm. just it's that type of vibrant feeling that we want. And the best part about it from those who are commuting is you get right off the train station right. and you're right there. And right across right. the street there's restaurants, there's bars, mm -hmm. there's, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's a family type of city. And that's what I want to continue bringing Peace Gill right. out, you know. But you also have, I mean, there's been a lot of work on the trail kind of mm -hmm. with the top part of Peace Gill kind of going all the way down yeah. um, near, I guess, the solid waste plant, I, I think. But but there's a, a new, uh, the last connection is being made, yeah, I think, kind of up. as yep. we talk or mm -hmm. when the weather gets a little bit better. When the weather I gets guess. a little better, they will start. Yes, yes, but that's in the process now. And you'll be able to go. I mean, there's like we have the Spins Hudson, which is like the arcade and, the, you know, the mm -hmm. bar area for for, um, you know, people to come enjoy. But it, it'll expand all the way through there. And you'll be able to just, I mean, you can literally just come out for a day of exercise. Mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. walk and enjoy. And that's that Miami right. vision I have. You know, that's that's my peak scale Miami right there. And you go to Miami, just walk up the beach and just uh -huh. don't even jump in the water. Just look at it. Right. You know, and now right. you can do that in peak scale. Right. You know, don't, just, just look at it. Just enjoy the breeze. Sit and think. Write a song or something. You know, right. there's so much you can do right. in open space. Yeah. So I no, appreciate it's, it. It's, it's really great. So you, you have some spaces for development. Um, mm -hmm. Have all the developers been at your door yet, <laughs> or what do you do? You know, I, mean, I always want to say yes, but I don't know who else is coming. But oh my goodness! But again, you know, I, I right. love it though because it's when they come to the office now. I, I look at it and say, you know what? This is this is the good experience that every mayor talks about. You know, because every mayor says, you know, so many developers are coming to my office mm -hmm. with ideas, to the mayor's mm -hmm. office with good ideas, mm -hmm. you know, and some of them are brilliant. And it's like, you want to say, let's go, you know, mm -hmm. go, go start. You need a shovel? I'll go right. buy it for you right. now. Let's right. go. That's a great idea. The people uh -huh. will love it. You know, so it's exciting because it's almost like, you know, when you play those video games and building games mm -hmm. and you, you, you have an idea and you just build it yourself, it's like, oh, that was cool. Mm -hmm. But to actually mm -hmm. make that video game a reality, right. we can build this in Peak Skill. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. 
Come on, let's go. Let's start the process right now. Right. And that's where we're at, you know. So, you know, and you got to keep in mind, you know, the process of getting through it is the, is the best part about it because you learn so much. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. working mm -hmm. with the council people that we have now, they're really eco-friendly. Mm -hmm. So they have so many ideas of how they want that project to work. So you mm -hmm. think for the future. So you don't have right. 25 new residential buildings in a city where you have one high school. Right. <laughs> you know, so right. you, you got, do we want 25 more residential buildings in Peace Guild? You know, right. or do we want commercial? Mm -hmm. Do we want, you know, businesses? You know, mm -hmm. what do we want that's going to make this city thrive? Not just for right now, but mm -hmm. for 10, 15 mm -hmm. years from now. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a, a great vision that this council brings mm -hmm. to the table as well. Well, uh, you, you mentioned actually before about the restaurants across from the railroad station. Mm -hmm. I think Peace Hill's really getting a reputation for a lot of restaurants. Yes, is they that, are. They is certainly that, are. We have a lot, you know. And I, I'll be honest with you, anywhere there's food, you can count me in. Everywhere I go, you know, when I go different places, like, so you're the mayor of Peace Hill? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. I've heard good things. Listen, come up and visit. Come to my office and let's go. You know, I'll take you to a restaurant. And I'll, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. different people I'll take to the different restaurants. If it's mm -hmm. like a lunchtime, we'll go to the tea room or we'll go to, you know, mm -hmm. Division Street Grill. If it's an evening event, we'll mm -hmm. go to Hudson Room or we'll go to, you know, um, Gleason's or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I have mm -hmm. plenty of meetings, but every time somebody comes, I try to take them somewhere different, right? You know, to show right. a little support. You know, um, El Conquistador, the Spanish restaurant. Mm -hmm. They have the family meal. You can't uh -huh. beat it. You can't. Uh -huh. I mean, they have soup, then they have rice, then they have salad, then they have chicken. It's like you can't beat it. You can't beat it. You know, it's delicious. I'm, I'm telling sure you're you. really filled at the end. At the end of the day, that's it. That's it. I cannot right. go wrong. So. so, how does the Paramount, uh, you know, the center fit <clears throat> into all? I, I just have always felt that that's such an important part yeah. of the downtown area. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's still, yeah. it still is uh, the you know key. What? Yeah, growing up, I performed at the Paramount stage a few times, and um, I always looked at the Paramount for Peace Guild, like Harlem's Apollo Theater. And um, the potential that it has is is beyond me. And I think that we're, I mean, I think they're doing a pretty decent job at bringing, you know, more acts in. Mm -hmm. But that's a place that we need to really, you know, utilize a lot more for mm -hmm. our community as well. Because it can, you know, that's a, that's a platform for so many different forms of artistry, especially in the performing world. You know, but the Paramount is is is, is very is very Paramount to Peekskill. Mm -hmm. You know, right. I, I think right. it's, it's I think it's important and it brings more life to Peekskill. As more people come into the town, especially with this AIM project that we just put out, which is amazing, as more people come into town and they know we have a theater, mm -hmm. when you get mm -hmm. celebrities in town, they'll put together shows. You know, mm -hmm. I just met with a guy um, 24 hours ago um, about doing you know urban comedy. You know, and he's worked with artists like Tyler Perry and some of these artists that are like really mainstream known. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. he's looking to do something at the Paramount too. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, so it's exciting. Mm -hmm. And I want to say I'm thankful. You know, I've worked with Rich the last couple of years about working on ways. I mean, um, Kurt the last few years about working on ways to give back to the community. Mm -hmm, and they've come mm -hmm. up with brilliant ideas. They've done Santa Claus at the Paramount, free to the children. They've done. Mm -hmm, they've mm -hmm. turned the Paramount Theater into a Halloween haunted house. Mm -hmm free mm -hmm. to the children and you know mm -hmm. those are the type of things that we appreciate and that creates a, a support system mm -hmm. you're giving mm -hmm. back to your community when right. you put together some some type of event or right. show your community is going to give back to you right you know and that's right. that's the goal that's that, that you know really gets people to the Paramount and then mm -hmm. hopefully they will go uh, right. to many of the other That's performances. A three Dog Night or something, you right. know, one of the, one of the right. performing bands. I that noticed are actually, I think they're they're going to be having more movies there or something. I think I saw Shooting recently. Selma, um, which is a documentary based on Martin Luther King's um, mm -hmm. experience. Um, February 27th at 7 p.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then for, you know, acknowledging Black History Month. And I think that is awesome. Right. You know? Can, uh, what happens when you walk around town? Uh, <laughs> as the new mayor, the new mayor in, in the city. <laughs> I wanna, first, I want to make this clear. I love it. I am not complaining at all. But it takes 40 minutes to get two blocks. <laughs> but it's the best 40 minutes I can ever ask for. You know, when you walk certain places, so many people are just not only, you know, just happy to support and congratulate, but they're, they're just happy to see someone there that they feel is connected to them. You know, I feel like I've... I represent a, a large majority of, of Peace Guild, and I feel like, you know, on every aspect from, you know, black or white, Spanish, rich, poor, in the middle, people feel like they can relate to me, you know, and I feel like I can relate to them. And they're, you know, I'm very approachable. So, I mean, I so get... So they approach you. Yes, without yes. a doubt, without a doubt. I mean, you know, it could be a senior citizen that's just been here their entire life. They'll come up and mm -hmm. tell me, things that they've seen in Peace Guild and the change that they like to see going forward. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you get the kids, you know, six and I remember one time there was a kid in C-Town 
and uh, his, his, his Hispanic kid, and he was with his mother. I was walking in the aisle. He comes over and he says, Mr. Noodle, you're the guy that's going to turn into mayor, right? Mm -hmm. I said, if I could turn into him, I'd do it right now. But, I, you know, I'd hope so. And he said, Mom, that's Mr. Noodle. That's guy. He's going to turn into the mayor. And she didn't speak English, but she shook my hand and she said, uh -huh. you know, so. And then I was like, thank you so much. Gracias. And it was just those experiences are the moments that you won't forget. Right. You know, that so nobody sees. So what is this Mr. Noodle about? <laughs> My this dear, is your nickname. My this dear, is your nickname. dear mother and yeah, some okay. friends. I grew up in Stewart Gardens, and my mother, uh -huh. one day, I think she said, oh, he's like a little noodle, and it kind of just You're stuck with me. You're pretty tall for a little noodle. Yeah, okay. yeah. Now I'm a big right. noodle, I guess, you right. know. But it, it stuck with me ever since. And then I, I got into music, and my stage name was Noodle. Right. So, and that's right. where it came from, yeah. And then I just used it as, that was just everywhere I went, that's just who I was, Noodle. Uh -huh. Noodle from Peekskill. Right. You know, and that's where so it came from. So people can find you walking around, going mm. to the supermarket, going down to yeah. The, yeah. the park or whatever yeah. else. But they can also, I assume they can make an appointment at yes. City Hall if they oh. need to, if well, it's more sit down and yeah, yeah. go through things. I have, a, I have a completely open door policy. So that, and this is why I tell you the approach in the streets is perfectly fine. Cause I'm the mm -hmm. same way in the office. <laughs> I, I leave my door open unless I have an appointment or, or, or a meeting or something like um, if I'm behind on work, for example. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I leave my door open. So if you're walking mm -hmm. in City Hall, you're going to take care of a, you know, a parking ticket or you're just picking up something at the city manager's office or getting mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. Walk right in. Mm -hmm. You know, I leave the door open at all times, unless unless I have a meeting or if there's, mm -hmm. I'm behind on work. Other than that, the door is always open for right. people to come right in. Right. Yeah, so you can always catch me at City Abs Hall. Absolutely, that's yeah. great. And of course, you can go to City Council meetings. Yes. Uh, people can. <laughs> um, do people feel that? They can get up at a at a meeting and really converse about mm -hmm. things. You see, or you see. so I'll what say do this: think? with all respect to everybody that's played a role as the mayor and city of Peace uh -huh. people now more than ever are comfortable with coming to the meetings and speaking mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. the council. You know, I mean, they'll come up. They'll if they have an issue or even a complaint, they feel they feel comfortable because we respond to them. Letting them know, like, we appreciate your concern. If we don't know the answer mm -hmm. and the city manager or somebody doesn't have the answer at that moment, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. And what I've tried to do is create this thing where any complaints we get at the meeting, I use my social media um, page to address those as soon as I find out the answer. So if somebody oh, will come. Somebody right, will come up and right, say, you know what, right. the um, you know we're having issues with these signs, you know, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. contradicting signs. As soon as I get the answer back from the you know DPW and whoever else I need to speak to, I'll put on my social media. Okay, so somebody reached out about signs. We mm -hmm, found mm -hmm. 13 of those signs. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. if anybody in the public sees any more, please let us know. We'll take care of those right. as soon as possible. So you're answering the person asked the question, but you're also letting other people know the who entire, may have seen. Because yeah. I assume your council meetings are. are Mm -hmm. videoed yes yep. so mm -hmm. people hear that in, yeah. the, in the process yeah that's exactly how it goes yep so All we right. try to address it so everybody who's watching can see I know everybody doesn't have social media so some of the things we'll try to put on our website as well right. but I know that social media reaches a lot of people I think you like being mayor <laughs> yes <laughs> Love it. It's Love a it. it's okay. a blessing, you uh -huh. know, to know that so many people supported you. And even those that don't support you, they give you that challenge of trying something, right. you know. Right. So it's like even if even if I didn't get it, to try it was a was a blessing. It's just, it's just, right. It just feels good. And I've always wanted to help people, you right. know. And now and I'm in a, a place to do yeah, it. Now it's I'm in a different position where I can help people, right. you know, and I right. can try to work my way up. And people ask, would you go any higher than the mayor? Possibly, you know, right. possibly, yes. you know, it yes. depends, it depends, you know, but I, I, I do enjoy it. Right. I really that's, do. That's great. Well, I so. just want to thank you so much for being here. No, thank, thank you. Thank you for <clears throat> being the new mayor. <laughs> and uh, obviously we'll keep in touch on, on lots you of for different me. issues. Thank so. you for And I want to thank all of you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can actually call the mayor. I think we put up some contact information. Yes, yeah. Or give me a call at 914-941-1111. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good evening.